Hello, this is Warlord. Today we're going to look at using the primitives that have been packaged with iClone for several versions now. When you take these primitives and combine them with a good texture, it's amazing what you can build. And a lot of people either underestimate it or beginners really don't have a clue what primitives can be used for. Plus, when you don't have many assets with you, or if you're on a low budget, primitives and textures can really be your friend. So, let's get started. Okay, in props, let's go to 3D blocks, wall and floor, let's put in a floor, a regular wall, a wall with a doorway, and a door. And that'll probably be enough to get us started for this. First thing I'm going to do before I mess with any textures is just kind of set this out. We're just going to kind of make a hallway, <clears throat> excuse me, because all we're going to do, it's not going to be anything fancy. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move things into place here a little bit. And we're not going to waste just a whole lot of time doing that either. But okay. There's our initial setup. Okay, let's go ahead and texture the floor. For that we can go over here to media. And we can use cloth one. Of course, it's not set right, so we'll have to go in here. You can also come in here and change this to PBR if you want to. But what we will need to do is come in here and change the UV settings. You want to lock the ratio, lock uh, all channels, and let's go to about eight, something like that. That ought to work for that. Now let's take a look at a wall where we run into our first problem that I hear quite a bit about in email. And that is that the textures don't fit the wall like they look when I just look at the picture of the texture. Well that's because this is not exactly formatted to fit that texture. So just come over here under the texture tab, go to planar, and just go through these until you figure out which one it is. Just hit apply. You can always undo. Now, right there, Y happens to be it. Now it's fitting properly. Now let's see here. Okay, now we've got those set, and we've got those fixed. Now you don't want to, uh, you don't want to uh, go ahead and scale these unless you scale them all together, because if you were to scale this a little longer, say to finish out the floor or something, then the texture would be stretched and they wouldn't match again. Okay, now. I'm going to drag and drop texture over to the door and we have the same problem. So we want to come over here and remap it to where it will fit right. Again, just go through all those hitting apply until you get it like you want it. Now, you could also animate this door, but as you see, the pivot's not in the right place. So under attributes, come over to pivot when you have the door selected. And just click over here on the side to move your pivot over there. And now you'll be able to open and close the door. Now we do not have normal maps or anything that will really bring out a lot of detail. We're not going to get into that right now. But we will use lighting later on to make things look a lot better. Now let's go back over to Props, 3D Primitive, 3D Blocks. I believe it's in Capsule. Find something we can use for a light right here. Capsule 27. We'll bring that in. And what we're going to do is retexture this and do some things to it that are fairly simple that'll make it look like a hallway light. And that's a little bit big. Okay, so what we want to do next is come into texture. And then let's go ahead and let's open up this texture in our favorite texture editor. And while we're at it, let's go grab our UV reference. This is how we know where to texture. Now what we just opened, the blue one, we want to close it because we're fixing to make one to save over this. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So let's just close this because we can't save over it if we've got it open. But what this is telling us is, 
this is the frame of it. Uh, this is actually the light, the front part of it. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this white. And I generally rasterize them. You don't really have to. But I'm just used to doing that. And then I'm going to go grab another wooden texture. And I'm just going to put it on here. Like that. Move it down behind. And there's our texture. Now I'm not going to want to put this, or I'm sorry, I am. I'm going to want to uh, save this over, not this, over the texture we just opened. This is where I did one earlier while I was testing. So what we're going to do is save what we just made over the, that kind of bluish purple texture that already exists. And then, when we get back over here, you can see that now we've got this texture to where it at least looks more like a light. And more like it would kind of like it would match this decor. Now that doesn't give us a, a glow map. We can come in here, of course, and, and we can self-illuminate it. But that's going to self-illuminate the whole, excuse me, the whole thing. Need need to do that much at least and select it if I'm going to do that. Don't really want the wall to glow. So anyway, what we need to do now is make a glow map that will basically cut this part out so it will look like a light. Now we're going to do the glow map the same way. I'm going to turn that off. I mean, we've already got this here. We might as well use it. I'm going to create a new layer. So I can dump black in there. And then file. Save as. Save this as a JPG. And what I'm going to do here is save this over here to another folder where I've been working on this. And here you can see I've already done it once. We're just I'm just going to call it Glow Map. We'll save it. And then come back over here. And now, let me go get that map. Grab it. And put it here. Under glow. And now you can see we're glowing. So between it and uh, using some of the uh, self-illumination, we will actually use this as a lighting source. Okay, now let's take a look at lighting this thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scene and I'm going to turn off the three lights. And it looks like we already have, yes, that's already off. Reason I'm doing this is so I can go in and basically light it from scratch and see how it's going to work. Turn on global illumination. Set up our GI range. And this light, I don't know if I set it or not. Oops, let's get over on the right place. No, we won't set it. There we go, where it's starting to light things up. And of course, our bounce drink will make a difference. Now you can put however many in here that you need to make it light like you want it to light. Okay, and there is just some basic lighting. And now remember, now that you've got multiple light sources, you can always come in here with your bounce strength if it's too bright or not bright enough, just however you want to make it. So that's, that's a global control. Let's 
So, throw you in a couple of characters, some motions, a little FX, and you got a real simple quick scene. Hope this helps.